Hello, my name is Vipul and in this video we are going to talk about the parameters and variables of Informatica. So what are parameters and variables? These are some kind of uh, changeable values that we give to Informatica that uh, you know something which can be changed during the runtime while the mapping is running, mapping is in progress. If we want to get the value changed for something uh, variable, uh, we assign it we first of all declare that variable and then we pass that variable in any of the mappings and uh, during the mapping uh, flow the value can get changed so uh, let's take an example where we can use such kind of uh, you know uh, how is this mapping uh, parameters and variables are useful now let's say we have here a table called employee v underscore n here we have all this data okay we have around 14 rows of data I want to upload, I want to load this data into this table VM target. All right. And once I load, let's say I load this data today. So today my 14 rows have got loaded. Tomorrow, let's say another three to four rows gets added in this table. Okay. Let's uh, assume that I'm just going to put a ascending sort order on the higher date. The last higher date here is. 12th of Jan 1983. Alright, so and now after this, I'm go, uh, going to insert some records. So next day, when I'm going to run a mapping, I want only those three records to get inserted in the target table and not all of the records, which is the case if I just, you know, run the mapping without declaration of any kind of a variable or writing a logic for incremental load. So the ma mapping parameters and variables can be used for an incremental load. Incremental load means we are loading the data from a table on a day and then next day whatever new records have got inserted, we want only those new records to get uh, you know loaded into the target table. Let's see how this works. So first we are going to create a mapping uh, m underscore m source underscore let's keep it uh, variable okay just to uh, make it clear and then we are going to drag these sources we are going to bring in here an employee source and now we declare or let's first bring in the target as well so this is the target table uh, vm target okay this table also we keep the same columns as we have in the employee source table now in the mappings we go in this particular section parameters and variables here we define a new variable. Remember the variable will always start with dollar dollar. In informatica mapping variables, they always start with dollar dollar sign. So we give it some name, let's say uh, higher date. Let's uh, yeah, give it a name called as higher date and then we just declare the type as variable. It's a variable, it's not a parameter of course. So we call it a variable, we give it the data type as date and time because we are right now referring to a variable which will store a value of date and we keep the aggregation as max okay we keep it and save it and then we go in the source qualifier and here we put the filter condition here we say that higher date should be greater than this variable that is higher date dollar dollar higher date we are going to see what this means and what is this going to do let us just quickly first save it and uh, make here another transformation called as expression transformation trn 
and source underscore there we go bring in all the columns and further of course join it here to the target and then in the expression transformation we declare a new port and give it a name b n uh, or, or we can just uh, give it b uh, we did let's say that's it again we give it a date time and declare it a variable port it's neither output nor input and in this port we are saying to please assign the value of maximum higher date to that variable so we'll use this function set max variable set max variable we will use and here what we will do we are going to assign the value of maximum higher date so maximum higher date value the uh, the port the column whatever higher date maximum value will be there will be assigned to this higher date let's validate it's working fine okay so now what will happen when we make this mapping in the first run when the data will get loaded from source to the target that is employee table to the target table then what will happen first of all this filter condition will be evaluated we have here higher date greater than this variable dollar dollar higher date now currently in this variable there is no value at all okay so it will it is going to let all the records pass if there are let's say these 14 records with uh, 14 records in this employee table all 14 records will pass as it is now as it reaches this uh, all the records reaches the expression transformation in this transformation it is going to uh, you know uh, check this particular uh, variable value will be assigned to the v date the value a high, maximum of higher date will be assigned to this uh, particular variable that is dollar dollar higher date which means now let's go in the database and check what is the maximum date here maximum date is let's put in ascending maximum date is 12 january 1983 so this particular value will get assigned to this variable dollar dollar higher date okay once this is done then in the next run when we run the same mapping next time through the workflow now when this filter condition will be evaluated that time it, uh, the, how this will be uh, evaluated bm dot higher date will be greater than the previous value that that variable higher date received what was that previous value 12 january 1983 so whatever records after 12 january 1983 are there only those records will be passed and rest of the records will be uh, filtered here itself inside the source qualifier okay now then again uh, once we uh, uh, insert more records in the source employee source table again when we run the same mapping the same process is going to be evaluated so uh, this is how it happens now let's quickly uh, go in the workflow manager and create a new workflow we say here wf underscore m source underscore variable and we okay let's just check have we saved it yeah now we have saved it and then we create a new task saying sys underscore m source underscore variable create and we assign this mapping
we go on connections change the connections target and the source and that's it hope we don't have any data in the target yes we don't have any data so it's fine we can just let it run and what we must also do we should not uh, let the data get updated or deleted so we can uncheck these two options perfect now we simply find this and save it and start the workflow. Succeeded. Let's go and check in the target table. Perfect. We have received 14 records in the target table, same as the employee table. Now let us now. Uh, well, uh, just to see here. So the first mapping, the mapping has run for the very first time. Now that variable, that is v higher date, must have received this particular value. That is 12 January 1983, because we have declared here. that maximum of higher date maximum value of this column higher date should go in this dollar dollar higher date okay so this is uh, already uh, you know stored inside this variable now what we do we uh, just try to let's say now uh, the new records are inserted in this table vm so let's try to insert some records quickly seven eight nine eight you can put something i'll put my own name And we put here a date greater than previous date. And let's put more records and put this. And we put let's say one more record nine five six nine seven six eight nine and we put uh, okay basically that's a job that's not the last name so uh, no problem I'll put here and I'll list them and uh, we put here three three two zero one five we put here 4020 these two if you want we can change we can keep it in this backup and this also as a list okay let's save it <clears throat> all the data committed so now we what do we want in the target table as we run this uh, map, same mapping second time only these three records should get inserted Vipul, Anil and Abhiraj okay so all we are going to do is just go directly in the workflow and start workflow. That's all. Succeeded. Let's go here and check. In the target table, these three records have got inserted. Ripple and Eland. Okay, that's Same is the case now if we run it one more time. If we insert more records in the M table then those records will get inserted so this is called as incremental load every time we are incrementing uh, you know as per the value stored in the variable okay so this is how we use the variables in informatics thank you